Hello everyone, this is Skork, and today I'm going to show you guys how I do uh, my city planning with color coordination and wool. Um, we use these for all of our big projects that have lots of buildings and roads and stuff like that. Uh, I just used it for the sequel to Hero Brian's Mansion, and uh, it's a pretty simple thing to get a hang of. Basically, we use uh, four main colors of wool. Uh, the first one is a dark blue and this is what we use for our buildings and you'll just lay out the the foundation or the rough shape of what you want your building to look like uh, on the ground and you'll do it in the, the blue wool, the dark blue. And then you just do that for all of your buildings. You can make like little town centers and uh, make unique shapes with the foundation just to give you kind of an idea of what you want to do when you actually build the town. Another good practice is when you're laying out your building foundations is to always use odd numbers for uh, the long directions so that when you do your roof later on you'll have an easier time making it to meet at the center if you're doing pointed roofs or slopes that are going to join at the top. Next uh, we use dark red wool and this one we use for main roads and like highways and the, the really wide roads. So we run these things, usually usually there's only a few in uh, each city, but sometimes most cluster buildings will have at least one way in, one way out. Sometimes it's up to like six different directions with these. The next color is yellow wool. And the yellow wool I use to map out alleyways and small roads that uh, fit between buildings and wind through the gaps of all of my buildings. So, and I usually want to make sure there's at least three blocks between my foundations uh, so that there's enough room for a little alleyway there and stuff like that. The next one is the orange wool. And the orange wool we use for showing where we're going to put bridges or uh, things that are going to connect to buildings at a higher level than on the ground. Something that will be up above you and you walk underneath it on like the road or through an alleyway you go underneath the orange. Another one we'll occasionally use is uh, green wool. And green wool we'll do just for like... Uh, highlight points so like a gazebo we do in green wool or a well um, little park or uh, some sort of like fountain things like that just stuff that you see that are just general attraction and, we, and I like to speckle these things throughout the town so that there's several different things in between the buildings that keep your attention and have just make make the town more interesting in general I know a lot of you guys won't be able to do these color coordinations because some people are playing on survival mode and they don't have access to all sorts of different colors of wool. So another alternative to this, you can lay things out in pretty much any block, but a really cool one that most people have lots of in survival is redstone and you can lay out all of your roads and your uh, building foundations with the redstone and kind of get a, an idea of everything, of where things need to be. And it works just as well, but you can't define things as easily. It's not as easy to just look straight there. Planning ahead can make a huge difference when you're designing something as large as a city. So taking these few steps to really think things through and figure out where you want buildings and how the roads are gonna work can be really crucial. Thanks for watching, I hope you guys learned something. As always, leave a comment below if you have any suggestions for another Squirk Shorts in the future. See you guys next time.